I wish I had my normal camera guys. Sorry, the iPhone's gonna have to do. This is what's going on today. Rescuing a seagull who has a completely destroyed left wing. I mean, that wing is gonna have to get amputated. It's bad. So I found him during my errands for the project and I cornered him against this fence out here and he bit the heck out of me. So he has energy, that's good. I think he's kind of chilling out realizing I'm his friend. Poor little buddy. Yes, I'm sorry. Sorry that you're injured. We're going to do what we can to save your life, little bud. I am a huge wildlife advocate, if you don't know that. I love wildlife. I do everything in my power to protect them, take care of them. Love animals of all sorts and descriptions. Last video I posted along these lines was my hummingbird, hummingbird rescue. Go check that out. Allie, the mountain dog's uh, in the back there of the truck. I don't know if you can see her. She's probably laying down. I'll try to show her. Uh, I looked up a avion rescue place and so i'm going to take the bird to them i just called them they said they would take them uh, i was thinking about taking them back myself but uh, i don't look forward to amputating that wing and i think they have better expertise in these things than i do so i'm going to take you along for the ride and uh, wish us luck that we can save this seagull's life hey i hate seagulls i love them i think they're cool so this is our little seagull buddy. Oh, I hope he makes it. Here's dog friend, Allie. She's old now, a little bit hard of hearing. She smells the bird. She's good with birds. She won't hurt them. I don't know where I'm filming. It's so bright out here. So I drove to this place. It's an animal sanctuary. Wishes luck. I called him, he said he could, again, take the seagull. Let's see where we are. Looks like an animal sanctuary to me. Bird sanctuary. I'm gonna enter this place. Is that a front entrance? I don't know. Oh, this poor wing. It's just dangling. It's really bad. Take time out of your busy, busy day to show kindness whenever you can. To help someone or something that can't help himself. These are some robins he's rescuing. This guy needs a donation, I think. He spent a lot of money rescuing these animals. So, uh, we'll go talk to him, see what's up. It's going to have to be amputated, right? Yeah, most likely. Uh, it's definitely all the nerves are gone, uh, muscle tissue is damaged. Fragment of bone missing. Yeah, medication. I can help you amputate it if you want. I'm gonna give you a donation too to help you out what you do here. I like it. out of the sun. I think he's a little bit hot. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to help you cut the wing off now? 
Yeah, you, want? Yeah, you can. I got an assistant. Should be here in about half an hour. So, okay. Okay, you got him. I do. Okay. He's gonna flop. He's energetic. It just happened. A uh, question I have is, can he live with just one wing? Well, he won't be able to survive out in the wild. Yeah, it helps. If you get him rehabilitated, you can contact me. We'll take him in and raise him if you want, or keep him alive. Well, unfortunately, in wildlife regulations is you can't have them as pets. Oh, okay. So we'll you have get, a license, probably, huh? Yeah, we'll, we'll get them stabilized, and we'll, we'll have to consult with the wildlife division. Guys like these are healthy. They just fell the nest too early. That looks like a mountain jay. Yeah, it's a solo jay. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. Poor little buddy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Bless your heart for doing this, man. This is cool. Super, super cool. Yeah, we're trying to put a new kitchen medical building in there. It didn't get done on time. Cool, let me see what kind of cash I have here. Hang on, guys. This will be from IHF fund. So, cool, I got some money. So my viewers uh, from my YouTube channel send money for me. I'll give you, uh, uh, there's a hundred. Oh, very good, okay. And then we'll come by and check on you. Maybe we'll give you another donation sometime soon. Okay, so what I'll need is uh, just fill out this section with name and address, where you found them, why you picked them up. Okay. What's your name? I'm Richard. Okay. So these are all the vegetables you give your animals? We do. We go through about 300 pounds of produce each day. 300 pounds? How do you afford all this? Well, a lot of it's donated by Smith and Reams. And other grains we have to buy at IFA. So we have food for swans, specific to waterfowl. We also have food specific to ducks and food specific to the chickens, pheasants, and peacocks. Is it okay if I give them your address for my viewers to send donations to you if they want to? They sure can. So you rescue not just birds, but all types of wildlife? Only birds. Only we're, birds. We're bird specific. Our main populations are domestic. We help protect the, the integrity of the wildlife. People will abandon types of birds in, in our parks, yeah. you know, such as muscovies or Peking ducks. The types of ducks that are not native to Utah and they compete for resources for the wildlife. So we remove them. We work with Petco to find homes for, the, for these domestic type birds. Okay. So we're gonna go in here, I have a towel. We're gonna set up the seagull on, on the front table since we don't have our medical building finished yet. Okay. And we'll, we'll get that piece of wing removed and we'll get them stabilized. We do. We have a vet that does our work. I'm more as a vet tech, so I'm not an actual doctor, but okay. I, can, I can do the first aid and the triage and get them stabilized. Okay. So then we can move them on to the next step. I'm in the right place. Look at these little buddies right here. They're so cute. <laughs> little robin birds. Oh, they're precious. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Well, yeah, where he can be, um, maybe going into shock. He's also looking like he's starting to aspirate a little bit. Yeah. He may not make it, huh? That's possible. I'm not sure how much blood loss with him. I imagine it did probably lose quite a bit of blood at the, at the incident. So I need to go grab some blood stop. Okay. Hang in there, little buddy. Hang in there. I just don't know if he's going to make it. That's a... See how he's kind of dazing off there? That's not a good sign when you see birds going into that. He might be too far gone, our friend. These little guys look pretty good. Hi! Yeah, he's not looking good, is he? Yeah, he's not. I wonder if we should let him sit for a little bit so he doesn't. Because he went through a lot of shock. Mm -mm. Looks like he's dying to me. It's possible, isn't it? Poor buddy. That's sad. 
you do what you can do though man There's only so much you can do he took a Vulcan hit to that wing man so I really like what this guy's doing though really like it his whole life is dedicated to saving birds he has an habitat back here look at this it's a swan Bless his heart, man. This is just so cool. I respect it. His whole life is dedicated to helping animals. How often do you see that? Jeez. That's sad, man. Oh, look at this. Do they get to know you? Yeah, they do. It's, they know it's, you're their mom, pretty much? Well, yeah, since they're abandoned. It's, it's kind of an imprint. But, you know, these two are actually going to be ready to go fly off into the trees here, and they'll come back for a couple of days, demanding some food, but then they'll finally become independent. They're robin, right? They're robins, yes. And they're such a cool bird. Are they pretty easy to rescue, the robin? Yeah, they're a little easier than some of the other ones. Some are pretty temperamental, huh? Yeah, yeah we've had magpies that, that want to fight with you. What's this? I believe these are just regular blue jays. Oh, Wake up, guys. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Wake up, guys. This must just take all day, you doing this. It does, I'm committed all day, every day. Good for you. Dude, seriously. Seriously, thank you. I, I was so ecstatic to find a place like this. Yeah, let's go up front, I've got to check a couple of birds up here. Okay. Just hanging in there? Yeah, I guess breathing stabilizing. Who feeds them, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's a pretty happy duck. No, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's a muscle. This is a tropical duck. It's native to Central America. Yeah. Yeah, some mallards we keep them contained just to, so the other birds don't conflict. Right. You know, the parents, is, we do have a mother that's actually these three little smaller yellow ones, and she'll actually attack. Other birds that aren't over babies. Wow. Yeah, that's a natural attribute to help their babies survive. So the mother mallard, if it's not their babies, will attack. Will Our attack other birds, yes. Wow. Yeah. Got black swans that are out here somewhere. What's his personality like? Well, they're pretty aggressive. So if I reach in here, they'll try to hit me. That's why they, they have their own pen, because they're, most swans are very territorial. They'll kill other birds? They will kill other birds or drown them. Jeez. What's his story? Where'd he come from? Uh, you know, some wealthy people up in the Cottonwood area purchased these birds and put them in their backyard. They had a nice pond in the backyard, and a pretty good space, but they also had a dog and the bird was attacking their dog. So they decided to keep the dog and get rid of the birds. Are his wings clipped? It is called a pinion. The, when the birds hatch, they'll go like to remove the end of the wing so it uh, can't fly. What advice would you give people who don't have a place like this near them if they rescue a bird? What what like the top five steps would you recommend to save them? 
You know, first I'd try to contact a, a wildlife or a or type of rescue. And if you can, I, you do need to keep the bird warm. You have to identify what it is before you attempt to feed them. And you should also know the type of injury. If, if they have internal injuries, you shouldn't feed or water them. That could potentially be harmful. Um, we've had birds come in that people wanted to care for themselves at home. We've had birds that have broken bones where they healed incorrectly. Or we've had another bird that came in that actually had gangrene growing in one of the limbs because they weren't properly treated with antibiotics. So even, even the best intentions could be harmful if, if you don't know exactly what needs to be done. So if you attempt to always, um, if you can't find somebody that is knowledgeable to care for the bird, at least go to the internet, try to do as much research as you can to be able to care for them until you get them to somebody. I told my viewers I rescued a hummingbird about a month and a half ago, and the first thing I did is put it in a kind of a dark, quiet, warm place so it could de-stress a little bit. Well, that is true, yeah. Birds with injuries don't realize that we're trying to help them, so they can become stressed or they they will flail around, which could cause further injury. So yes, putting them in a dark box and covering them is, is, is best until they're stabilized. Right on. All right, well, I'm gonna let you get back to your day. Look at this little buddy right here. <laughs> Look how much personality he has. Is he just saying hello? Or is he well, asking he's, for he's, food? He's actually mute. These ducks are mute when they become adults. 120 species of ducks. This is a true species. Well, they're eating pretty good here, Richard. They do. Yeah, we make they sure are not they're... hurting for good eating. And yeah, we make sure that their primary focus is to make sure they get diets that are consistent with natural foods. Well, what do you say? I just, uh, if you want, um, I can help you with that wing. I'm, I'm just, you know more than I do. I just don't want to stress that thing and have them die of stress. No, yeah, all that piece of that wing is actually not going to do them any good anymore. Yeah, much, it's done. There's way too much damage in that area. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I say, well, I'll stabilize them, and then you know the next step is either see if a vet can see what he can do to seal that injury. And then I'll probably need to be moved contacted with the wildlife division. Okay. Look at him. Following dad. Is he dead? Yeah, no, I think he just passed away on us. Oh. Yeah. Doggone it. Sorry guys, I wasn't going to show this, but it's part of the story. He didn't make it. Yeah, I'm very sorry. That's okay. We did what we could, man. Anyway. Thanks for trying, Richard. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll I want you to keep that money and okay. buy some food for your birds and stuff. Okay. Well, it all goes into a fund for the birds. Yep. I'm one of the founders. I'm also a volunteer, so I'm not paid to do this. Okay, as long as it goes to the right place, I'm going to trust you it will. And uh, we'll drop by and see you again sometime. How's that? Okay. Yeah. You're more than welcome to. There, we also accept volunteers. We do need people to help uh, sort of produce each morning. And many of the domestic birds, we like to hand feed. It makes them better adoptable mm -hmm. as pets. What's your last name? Rich Nowak. Richard Nowak. Nowak. Yes. Okay. Because I'll put your. Uh, I want to put your contact information if guys want to drop by and help you. Mm -hmm. Or maybe uh, just send a few bucks for what you're doing here. Yeah, well, we do have a website. It's asaputah.org. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I wish this had a happy ending, guys, but that's the circle of life, right, Richard? It is, yeah. You know, there's many hazards that are man made. Uh, mm -hmm. There's also predators out there. It just looks like it's a man made injury. He may have hit a truck or something, or a power line, or. Yeah. Alright, anyways, nice to meet you. Thank you for your great work. Thanks for giving us a little tour on an iPhone. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'll touch base with you later, okay? All right. A couple months, day. you'll see me again. And yeah, maybe right. I'll drop by some more money from my viewers, too. Very good, thank you. Thanks, man. Bye.
like licking her chops here. That's... <laughs> She's really good with birds. She would not that bird. I, I bird trained her, but I also trained her to not attack and kill birds. I know, it's kind of a contradiction, isn't it? There's Allie the Mountain Dog. Like 82 years old now. Hi, girlfriend. Good girl. Good girl. All right, signing off, Tina Pierce. Thanks for coming along for this uh, pretty interesting adventure, actually. See ya.